second opportunity is to diversify. Now, I'm sure you guys already know this, but you cannot rely on dining as your only income, right? I know we all got into business. It was dining as your primary um, way of making income. You can't do that anymore because, you know, we had the shutdown and then, you know, it was open. And then, you know, I think we're just now getting to where it's like 50% reopening, right? So there's too many factors, right? And the fact that this, um, you know, news is saying, the media is telling us that COVID is like a seasonal illness, right? So when winter comes, we could be shut down again. What does that mean, right? So we have to diversify. What does that mean for us? You, you should be doing delivery if you're not doing delivery already. Got to get with it. Curbside pickup, online courses, teacher, teacher your audience something, you know, like I would love to learn how to make, you know, I love pho, absolutely obsessed. I would take an online course to learn how to make pho. Things like that, right? So events, if you can do online events, virtual events, right, to just get people engaged. And then also meal prep kits and then restaurants. When I say restaurant, it's kind of like a grocery store. So you're just basically using the inventory that you have on hand to turn that into a grocery store. I would much rather support a local small business owner that is, you know, just Again, just support a local small business owner. How do we do that? You turn it into a grocery store. That's becoming a phenomenon that you just, again, how do we diversify and get another stream of revenue on the books, right? The, the, um, this one is to transform your menu, right? So now you can't offer the same sort of menu offerings, right? Especially when you're doing delivery and curbside pickup, you gotta be mindful of that, right? So you gotta scale down on the number of items on your menu, which will help with just streamlining your operation and product offerings. Um, the tip here is that customers are looking for comfort and convenience still, right? Remember in the previous slide, we said the customers still wanna dine and people are out here taking opportunities, taking advantage of opportunities. So they still do exist. So we wanna be mindful of what, what do customers want and how do we transform the menu to make sure it's something that consumers will still, you know what I mean, want to actually access. So comfort, food, um, there's, you know, there's the consumer base that's very conscious, right? So plant-based, um, healthy bowls, things like that. So keep, be mindful of when you're switching your menu, does it still serve your audience? And then also if you're out there and you have a product offering that you have not monet, um, productized yet, I, I advise you to do so, right? Like if you have a signature sauce that you have just maybe just never had the chance to put out there, this is the time to do that, right? If you have people that are already dedicated and coming to you, sell it you know, product, make some money off of that as well, add another revenue stream. Your merchandise, that's another thing. This restaurant right here, um, never even did merchandise before. They're now doing merchandise, signature sauces and all things of that nature. And you know, they're winning. So again, you gotta think outside the box.